Please take a second, pause the video, and read this disclaimer. Today we're taking a look at heel raises, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's coming up off of the heels and onto the toes. Now, as always, you should only be performing exercises if you've been cleared by a medical professional to do so. Now, in order to perform these double leg heel raises, I like to use a wall. I have my hands up against the wall. I can't really use them to help me push up, but I can use them to stabilize me. Now, the name of the game here is quality. You want control. You don't want to just bounce up and down without letting the heel come all the way back down and touching the ground. You want to come all the way up and then all the way down in a controlled fashion. That's what counts as a good heel lift. Now, I like to dose these as three sets of 20, which is just my personal preference. This is a muscle that is very strong and it needs to be able to handle your, your body weight throughout the day, which is why I also tend to dose more into the endurance range than I do a power range or a strength range. Here's how it looks from the side. You can see me going all the way up. My feet are coming a little bit out. That's okay. It's kind of natural for you to go into what's called inversion when you're coming all the way up onto your toes. Now, not using the wall makes this a little bit more difficult because you have to add that stability portion that we were talking about earlier. So this is a little bit more of a workout. Now, a good way to know that you should probably stop and take a break is if the height of your heels is not consistent. If it just keeps dropping, dropping, and dropping, it's probably time to take a break, come back, circle back, do another set of these later because quality and control are what's important here. That's how I like to do the double leg heel raise. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.